Hello, mga ka learners. Last episode, we learned to appreciate dramatic interpretations. Today, our lesson is about understanding and appreciating passages heard. How does your mother or father react whenever you show them your grades? How do they react whenever you leave home without permission? How do they sound whenever they scold you? How does their tone of voice convey anger or disappointment? In lesson one, you learned how the speaker's choice of words affect how he or she tells stories. Aside from choice of words, tone of voice also affects how a listener responds to what the speaker is saying. When you listen to people, you do not only hear the words they say, you also feel the feelings the words convey. This lesson will tell you how the speaker's tone of voice affects what he or she is saying. It features some literary pieces too. The simplest clue to feelings, images, and ideas suggested by oral texts is the speaker's tone of voice or the expression with which he or she says the words in the text. The same set of words can be said in different ways. For example, you can say the sentence, Come here, using different tones of voice to convey different emotions. You can say it angrily, happily, or even with a hint of seduction. The way the speaker says these words can affect how the listener will understand and react to them. Practice saying, I am sorry using different tones of voice. Ask a friend or family member to listen to you. Take note of the feelings you want to convey as you say the words. From that activity, you learned that tone of voice also affects how words are interpreted. Aside from happiness, fear, or anger, a person's tone of voice can also express a sense of urgency or great need. For example, a high-pitched scream coming from a child tells you that he or she needs help or attention immediately. A child screaming probably needs something badly. If he or she doesn't scream, chances are he or she would not get the attention he or she needs. This is why tone of voice is important in expressing oneself. Good storytellers always use the appropriate tone of voice to enhance a person's appreciative listening skill. For example, they use a high-pitched voice to sound like a child or a rough voice to sound like a strict policeman. Whenever we hear stories, we have our own unique images of the stories we hear in our minds. What we picture depends on our own perception of things. Now listen to this story and try to imagine what the story is about. Cesar Look, Janet, look! Janet Look at what, Cesar? Cesar Do you see the ripe mangoes on the tree in Mang Pandoy's backyard? They sure look delicious. Hmm, I can already taste them in my mouth. Janet, yes, I can see them. They look delicious, all right. Cesar, want to get some? Janet, I don't know. It is not good to get something that is not ours. Cesar, I know, but they sure look tempting. Maybe we can just get a few. Janet, how do you plan to do that? Cesar, that's easy. We can get a long stick and try to poke at the mangoes. They are bound to fall sooner or later. Janet I don't know. I still think it's wrong. Cesar Come on! Janet Cesar, look. Mang Pandoy is coming. He's looking at us. He probably knows what you are planning to do. Cesar Shh! Be quiet! Pretend we're just looking around. Mang Pandoy Hi guys! Cesar Hello Mang Pandoy! It's a wonderful day, isn't it? Mang Pandoy Sure is, Cesar! Say, I saw you looking at my mangoes. They look good to eat, don't they? Janet 
You're right. Sure, Mang Pandoy. Cesar, really looks good to eat. Mang Pandoy, say guys, how about helping me harvest the mangoes? I plan to use that big ladder over there to go up the tree, but I need help. You can help me gather the mangoes and put them inside the basket. You can bring home some mangoes afterward. Cesar, really Mang Pandoy? That would be great! Janet, we'll be happy to help. Cesar, I will hold the basket. Janet, I'll gather the mangoes that fall to the ground. Told you, Cesar, it's better this way. Cesar, I'm glad I listened to you. Let's try if your summary in mind is similar to this. Cesar and Janet were passing by Mang Pandoy's house when they noticed the ripe mangoes on the tree in his backyard. They wanted to get some for themselves without asking his permission, but hesitated. When Mang Pandoy saw them, he asked their help in harvesting the mangoes. Afterward, each of them were given several mangoes to take home. Appreciative listening can be developed with constant practice. You can do this by listening to what others say attentively, attending poetry readings, and watching plays, movies, and other presentations that would give you an opportunity to hear and appreciate new things. Well, this is the end of the module. Congratulations for finishing it! This module tells us that Feelings, images, and ideas in passages or stories can be inferred from the speaker's choice of words and tone of voice. Stories or passages can be better appreciated if they are image or emotion-laden. Providing more details and using comparisons and imageries help achieve this. Appreciative listening depends on how well you listened and how well a passage was read or delivered. Appreciative listening can be developed with constant practice. You can do this by listening to what others say attentively, attending poetry readings, and watching plays, movies, and other presentations that would give you an opportunity to hear and appreciate new things. That's the end of our lesson about understanding and appreciating passages heard. Did you learn anything useful from it? I hope you have gained new knowledge with today's lesson. See you again mga ka-learners on our next lesson.